As long as there is breath in your body, there is a chance. When you give up hope, you stop dreaming. My friend, you stop believing. As long as you're breathing, as long as that heart is pumping blood, you're not dead yet. They haven't put rose petals on your box yet. Make sure every breath you take counts for something. You don't count how many breaths you take. You don't count it. You get to a point where you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. Even when you face tremendous setbacks, it, it will be a benchmark to keep you in the game, to keep you moving forward and experimenting and readjusting your strategy and your plan of action continuously, looking for ways to win. See, as long as you're breathing, you got a shot at your dream. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. See, if you don't program your mind, your mind will be programmed because human beings are goal-oriented. That's why we die of broken hearts early. That's why we're running through life to early grades. We're going through life, ladies and gentlemen, in quiet desperation. Most of us go through life running scared. Everything is about to change. Because change starts with you. Your circumstances, your challenges, your losses, everything that you have endured in your life, if you're standing on your two feet right now, if you got breath in your body, you are not done. You have power right now. You have strength right now. Don't let nothing hold you back. You're not a product of your environment. You're not a product of your external storm. What you have or what you don't have, where you come from or what you don't come from. The traumas, the abuses, the good and the bad. None of that dictates, but it's what you will do in the moment. Watch your response as long as there's breath in your lungs. There's hope in your heart as long as you're breathing. Yes, you can. Every breath that I take, I get stronger. You can be stronger. Do you breathe or are you breathed? You can feel it either way. If you become conscious of breathing, you'll get the sense that you are doing it in the same way as thinking or walking. But if you forget about it, it goes on. And you don't have to do it at all. That is why breathing exercises are fundamental in all meditation practices in the Orient. Because you can understand through breathing and through the experience of breathing that there really is no differentiation between the involuntary experience and the voluntary experience. You short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath. You wheezing. The only thing you trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. All you have is all you need. All our lives, many of us go through life running from things that ain't got no teeth to do us any harm. This is a mentality like 
You got to live this. You got to eat this. You got every single thing you do. It's a mentality. It's a, okay, so what do I mean? Because I got to get you to go from behavior to mentality because I told you before, the great, what, I studied great people, millionaires and billionaires and people who succeed in what they do. And I realized that the difference is only, it's not a behavior. It's not something that they do. It's not something that they get to when they want to. It's not a feeling. Some of y'all, for real, you still on feelings. When you feel like doing it, you do it. When you don't feel like doing it, you don't. And so for you, it's a feeling, right? It's a feeling. For them, it's a mentality, it's a way of life. It's what they eat, it's what they sleep, it's what they drink, it's who they are. It possesses them. And the guru was telling him, when you want, when, it, when mentally, you want it in your spirit, in your soul, when you want it, it will happen. It's all back down to a very primitive mindset of we just have to do. It's like breathing. Breathing becomes normal. Like, we don't know that we're doing it. That's how you have to live your life. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. Change the way you see yourself and begin to tend to the personal details. Understand that nobody's gonna take care of your business better than you. And when I start changing that kind of mindset of beating myself up because of my mistakes and start looking at the possibility of my doing better, of my making the adjustment that would enable me to do what I wanna do successfully, things begin to change. Your dream is worth fighting for. If you desire to move from dreaming your dream to living your dream, you must recognize your value and you have to be willing to hold out for what you deserve. We all got a responsibility. We all got to be accountable. We all got to put in work, but don't give up because there's somebody out there right now that is hurting. There's somebody out there right now that is struggling. There's somebody out there right now that's got it a little bit tougher than you do. So why are you going to give up now? Hear me? Get your hopes up and don't you ever settle. So I'm saying that we have to work through the challenges of life and learning how to begin to work to fortify ourselves. Repeat after me, please. I can live my dream. I can live my dream. I can find my purpose in life. And live my purpose. I deserve more for myself. I deserve more from life. When you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might quit. You might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many push-ups as it takes, as many sit-ups as it takes, as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. Why? Because if I start counting the cost, I might quit. I might give up. I might surrender. Don't count the cost. You don't count the cost on this one. As long as there is breath in your body, there is a chance. As long as there's breath in your lungs, there's hope in your heart. As long as you're breathing, yes, you can. Live, breathe, life, you. That's what it's about.